20 people have perished in road accidents in the past 24 hours. In the first incident, seven passengers died in Yandara County last night when the vehicle they were traveling in was swept by flash floods. 13 other people lost their lives in two separate accidents along the Nairobi Mombasa Highway with floodwaters cutting off transport at Sultan Hamud. Hassan Mugambi reports on the Nyandarwa accident. What remained of this vehicle after it was swept away by raging floods in Nyandarwa County? Seven people drowning in the 10.30 p.m. incident. It is at this junction that the driver of the ill-fated probox with nine passengers on board missed the road in his estimation and plunged right into this ditch. Powerful currents in the water flowing down from the Abadea Ranges smashed the vehicle against the concrete. Four kilometers away at Maraigushu area, where the victims hailed from, residents shocked by the loss of seven of their neighbors. And here we meet Paul Karioki, one of the survivors of the fatal accident. He however says people living near the scene of accident did little to save the lives of his friends. All this while, seven of his friends, including three women and four men, were trapped in the vehicle. They were headed to Munyaka area near Kinangop to recover a stolen alcohol pump before they met their deaths. No one seemed to know the fate of the second survivor, who we are told was still in shock. Elsewhere, the Mombasa Nairobi Highway was cut off at the Sultan Hamoud Bridge after a tributary of River Mwoni burst its banks, flowing right over the road. This footage by the National Police Service showing hundreds of passengers waving for help from bus stops. Reports indicating that passengers in one of the bus that was swept away were swiftly rescued by well-wishers. This yet another day of misery following heavy rains that have pounded the country. The weatherman says the rains will continue through the rest of April. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.